Shame on Israel for destroying a media building in Gaza. Israel bombs Gaza. This is what the media is telling you about the conflict. But it's not just that. This video will shock you because I'm about to expose some vicious fake news. The Al Jala Tower in Gaza that just got bombed housed AP and Al Jazeera. That's true, but it was also used as a Hamas intelligence base. AP denies it. Their CEO quickly said that they had been in this building for 15 years and saw no indication of Hamas activity in that building whatsoever. We are shocked and horrified that the Israeli military would target and destroy the building housing AP's bureau and other news organizations in Gaza. That's what they claim today in 2021. But in 2014, a journalist in the region reported for the Atlantic that AP staff literally witnessed Hamas launching rockets right beside their office. And they didn't report it. Moreover, he reports that Hamas fighters would burst into Gaza's AP burnout, aka that building, and would threaten the staff. The AP, again, didn't report this. Later, AP's own spokesperson, Colford, confirmed that armed Hamas militants entered AP's Gaza's office in the early days of the Gaza war in 2014 to complain about a photo they took that shows the location of a rocket launcher. And as you guessed, AP did not report this too. Not only that, Obama's former spokesperson, Tommy Vader, tweeted that he is sure that Hamas officers were in that building. A former Obama spokesperson. When he was asked how does he know that, he responded that he spoke with people who worked in that building. Are you still with me? Do you understand what's going on here? Media outlets choose to hide the truth from you, maybe because of threats, but then they choose to just put the blame on Israel for rightly destroying a building used by Hamas. Because it's so much easier for them. Blaming Israel equals more rating to them. AP even called to investigate Israel even though they know the truth themselves. This is unacceptable. If your journalists are in danger and your only way to keep them safe in Gaza is to lie, get them out of Gaza. Don't comply and let a terrorist organization tell you what you can or can't report. Take a look at this old video from Gaza. <laughs> This reporter is casually telling her colleagues that Hamas is firing rockets underneath their billet. Does this look normal to you? Guys, I ask you to share this video. People must know what's going on here. We can't trust the media to tell the truth. It is our obligation. No one else is going to do our job. Share this video.